Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, as usual, I have a special sales offer available that for this month, it's inspired in the current Leo season we are on. If you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services, I'm gonna list all of them down below as I have been making uh, some changes in my list of services. If you would like to know more info, more detailed, or you have more specific questions, just email me. I will leave the email address also below. And if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Virgo, I feel like the issue of timing is quite important for many of you during the next weeks. It's like some of you don't want to rush anything, but you also don't want to stay behind. So there's a lot of uh, evaluation around, you know, the timing to do something, to release something, to say something. Um, I feel like many of you Virgos are a little bit confused about what's next, what move, what option to pursue. When you think about expansion and when you think about you know ultimately the success you desire to reach so for many of you this is related to work this is related to your creative aspirations this is related also to your desire um, to grow into heights you have not reached yet so for, there's something here about self-development that also is relevant for some of you Virgos. And you're very much invested in, in that, in development of everything you have already going on or that you have already put so much energy, investment, thought, study into. And I feel like many of you Virgos are very mindful of the investments you have made so far. And so you don't want to be, again, reckless. You don't want to put anything you have worked so hard for at risk but you also have that feeling that sooner or later you're going to have to make a move you're going to have to do something and that feeling of knowing this and yet not finding you know the certainty as of when might be something that is um, frustrating you a little bit i feel like one of the feelings you might need to constantly pull yourself out during the next weeks. It might be frustration. With the Seven of Pentacles in your soul position, which represents how you're gonna be filtering the experiences of the month, um, it, it is through a lot of patience in the positive expression. So there's still here a need to be patient with the process you're in. There still needs to be here some waiting, all right, some, um contemplation upon the the own process of growth that you are so involved in it's like for many of you this is about work this is about finances this is about thriving into something and though for others of you you can get to a point where you're just frustrated of the waiting game of the always needing to be you know on this uh, uncomfortable place where you don't know if it's going to happen next week, next month or next year. And that big, you know, um, question of uh, when is it going to happen and not re having at least a reference of time can be difficult to manage, particularly around August and particularly when you find that you're just not receiving uh, what you want or there's a lack of um, active response so when you're not earning the money you want when you're not receiving the feedback you want when things are not moving as fast as you would like particularly that can that feeling can strike and make you wonder if you're doing the right thing or not i feel like throughout the next weeks there's going to be confirmations that that success uh that flow that outcome that you most desire upon something yes it will happen yes you are in the right path yes all that you have done so far is going to lead you to the sun arcana so it's going to lead you to the success and the positive outcome that you desire with the three of wands in your unconscious there's also even more of that emphasis both on success is coming 
is going to come. It's not here yet, but it's going to come. But also timing, because you have two cards that speak about waiting and needing to wait for your ships to come, right? So don't give up. I feel like if you're tempted to give up or to just be too hard on yourself and in the, again, the judgment calls you're making, don't be, because I feel like as we move into your season, as we go into September, there's there's going to be a whole more clarity on the things you're still wondering about. Uh, as I said, many Virgos here are confused, so overall there might just be a sense of not knowing where you stand, not knowing what to make of situations. For some of you, even not knowing how you truly feel, it might take a while for you to process your own you know, emotions and get to that answer that will bring the, set, the certainty um, that you want. Uh, some of you could be tempted to turn your back on something positive, be mindful of that, because the Queen of Swords is, is so uh, focused. For some of you, I feel here that you might be so focused on work and money and getting things right, that you're not holding space to much more. And by that, you could be missing on a great opportunity. You could be missing on a great element of happiness that could bring happiness into your life as well. Um, for some of you, there's here an element of a creative partnership taking place. Uh, and I feel like many, many of you are in resistance if you should or not invest in this creative partnership or if you have the willingness to work in the partnership itself, meaning that this could also be about a romantic connection or, you know, someone that asks you to be, you know, at a certain extent, a partner, right? So you're, you're, um, you're in a moment where I feel like many, many Virgos here, you already have a lot of things you're, you're dealing with, you, you're having to give energy to and, and relationships of all kinds feel so consuming to you, or it feels like something you don't have, um, in you to give. And for some, this might make you walk away or turn down offers of love, offers of friendship, offers of business that could, um, how you call it, like it could help you in the path. It could assist you in the path. It could make the path easier than um, what has been so far. Some of you are drawing in also uh, clients, people that want to know more about your business or know more about your craft. Uh, especially f for Virgos here that are um, involved somehow in a network or you have a platform, this can be a great time to reach audiences and to reach people uh, in a very positive way. You, you, you might find that even though you're not receiving or getting things um, as easy as you would like, at the same time, you're gaining attention and you're gaining um, likability, you're gaining um, uh, the, for some it's like the genuine admiration, for others it's the love, the respect, the appreciation for all that you are and all that you do. And you're asked to evaluate um, if that is not also an important factor here, if it's just the the concrete elements that also is important, of course, but if you're just putting so much focus in one thing, in having the money or having, you know, the contract or having the job or having the promotion or having whatever it is that you most want right now, that you're dismissing completely other elements that contribute immensely to your legacy, to your fortune, to your prosperity. So I feel like sometimes you might be, again, you have your your back turned so you have your your attention really uh, in other things where there's this self um much more of the self orientation and the self being so self-absorbed that this you miss on the sun that's the problematic energies that you could miss on the sun and the sun is all about the great things we all uh, desire to experience. So uh, I also feel like for many of you, there's going to be a question throughout the next weeks if you want to 
stand in the sun if you want to enjoy life if you want to enjoy the moment you are in despite of having everything uh, or not that you that you want if you are able and willing to relax a little bit from the results itself from the outcome itself if you're able to be patient about one thing and enjoy another while you're in the wait so i hope you have a great month i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully we'll see each other soon